Hello guys, Duncan here for another video. I'm here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach again. As you can see, Noah's Ark. My hair is all going mental, so that means the big one's not been running because it's super windy. But it doesn't matter, it's not part of the event this year. I am here for Journey to Hell Freak Nights 2023. This is the second year that it has been free roaming. So let's see if Pleasure Beach can make it better than it was last year. There were lots of merits, but there were a few mishaps and things that could be improved on. And let's, fingers crossed, hope that they've improved on those points. This year we have seen the addition of Icon and the removal of Infusion. And the big one, of course, the big one had loads of issues last year. It was windy, it's October, what do you expect? Which meant that the big one was closed most of Journey to Hell. Due to that, they were constantly having to bring something else in that just allowed you to reuse your tickets uh, for one of the other attractions. This year, they know that that's not really viable and that's a bit of annoyance uh, to the public who are attending. So they've removed the big one and they've added Icon and it's called Dark Icon. Okay, Icon in the dark, but the uh, coasters, uh, the train lights are switched off. So you don't know what's happening unless you're like me, who knows the layout of my heart. We also have uh, a our very first scare zone uh, since it changed to free roaming, of course. Originally, Journey to Hell was a lead experience. You started inside the casino, you were taken into the park, and you were led around the experience by actors. Of course, that basically meant that the whole experience was a scare zone. But when it changed to the free movement, free roam system that we saw last year, there were no scare zones, there were the scare attractions and there were rides. And that was it. This year, we have the addition of a new scare zone called Carnival, or Carnival, but Carnival. You'll see when we get in the park, I was in the park, check my video, it's not really a vlog. Check the video and you can see what I'm talking about. Basically, they've created the scare zone around Avalanche and that includes one ride, which is the Dodgems. It's all themed around um, Dia del Muertos, which is Day of the Dead. Um, so we'll see how that goes. It's not meant to be so scary, Day of the Dead. So if it made Day of the Dead scary, I think it would be a bit bad because it's not meant to be bad and it's not meant to be scary. So I really hope they haven't made it scary, but we'll only see when it gets to that. We also have uh, the return of Impossible Freak House that has returned. So Hopefully they've changed a few things uh, in Impossible Freak House. It would be a shame if it's exactly the same as last year. It was great, but we just need some new things. We don't want to get into an Alton Towers situation where we have the same thing for eight years in a row. We don't want that here in Pleasure Beach. They keep it fresh here. But let's get on to the new things. So the Lost has returned sadly uh, or gladly. I wasn't a biggest fan of The Lost last year. I really hope they fixed it. It was basically a lot of uh, darkness, basically. So I really hope they fixed it. It has a new, uh, a new storyline, apparently. So hopefully that will fix the issues it had. The River Caves has returned, but apparently it's now got a storyline and it's not just pitch black for the whole ride. So fingers crossed. Um, the Ghost Train has returned, but that's going to go into the stories of the actual ghosts in the Ghost Train. The Lady in White, who's upstairs, and Cloggy, who is downstairs. They are real ghost stories, and apparently we're told them and we explore them whilst going through the ghost train. I really hope so. That would be really, really good. Now, we also have the tunnel maze again. That has returned. That has been people's favourite maze, uh, and it has returned yet again. Uh, but this time it's got another storyline and it's called Twisted Tunnels. And the whole point of it is we're exploring either 1930s or 1830 Blackpool. I can't remember. My memory's gone. It's one of those. I will put here which one it's meant to be. So we will see very shortly when we get inside. Now, that's enough blagging on about me. I'm sure you really want to just see Inside Journey Tale, but wait one second. It's too early, so I will see you when Journey to Hell is open, and I'll see you inside the park for Journey to Hell. See you in a moment. So now in the park, and walking up to FY4. 
the the lights are on on Big Dipper. Walking up the fountains are on. They w I, it would be nice if they could turn them red. I think that could be a really nice addition, but fine, I'm not gonna complain. Let's see, Lugarok is out. He was not out last year, so having him this year is absolutely fantastic. Great to see Lugarok out at the event. Sadly, the fire, it appears, has not returned by the look of it, but there is now steam by the overturned car. Maybe fire may return, we'll have a pop back later. But because of its capacity issues, I'm going to the ghost train first. I'm gonna see the new ghost train. Then we will look at the rest of it. But it's great to see Lugarok has returned this year. It's great to see. So I'm about to go on the ghost train. Uh, I'll give my reviews about it after the ride, so I will see you once I have been on the ghost train. Okay, so first impressions coming off that, dramatically better than last year. So, so many more uh, actors on there. Much, much better. That is getting better and better every single year. Uh, it's here and I think give it a few more years and it will be perfected. I'll do a spoiler version a bit later because I don't want to spoil it for people who are about to go on the ride. So I will do a whole section with spoilers a bit later. Now I'm going down to River Caves to see how that's different to last year. So I just got off uh, the River Caves. Really, really good, um, better than last year. Uh, so the lanterns were turned again. This time there was audio instead of it being completely silent. That's really, really good addition. But the ghost train and um, the river caves have had there has custom audio for the event. And that's a really, really good addition. A few more actors would have been good. There were only, uh, only four actors, better than the two we had last year, but a bit more and that'll be really good. But dramatic step up from last year and I can't wait to see how it steps up again for next year, if it returns next year. Now I'm about to go through the Twisted Tunnels. This is back yet again. It has been a staple of the event from day one and has changed every single year. And this year is no different. It's changed completely again. So let's see what it's like. And I'll give you a bit of a review afterwards. And as I said, full spoiler review will be at the end of the video. So let's do Twisted Tunnels. I've just done twisted tunnels dramatically better than it was last year that is getting better and better it was double the length it had a storyline throughout it was fantastic so now I'm going down to the scare zone and the dodgems so let's see uh, what is oh no oh no Hello. Say hello. Hello. Let's go see the scare zone, shall we? Yeah. So I seriously thought we were going to see uh, Big Dipper used this year. It wasn't used this year, um, which is quite surprising. Of course, it's now 100 years old and I seriously thought it was going to be used, uh, but it hasn't been used, uh, which has shocked me. Uh, quite dramatically it really has shocked me it looks like so dark icon is actually through the speedy pass oh that's quite interesting so dark icon you enter through the speedy pass so i think i'm going to do that because i know that there's a better entrance uh, to the scare zone from the opposite side so we'll quickly do a uh, dark icon and then we'll see the scare zone so there's actually a special audio just for icon which is this creepy version of the theme tune this is fantastic
lighting on dim so this side has lighting just the mirrors this is brilliant the ride operator is dressed up all the operators are all dressed up this is really really good they've done really really well i have to give it to them this is fantastic <laughs> So I've just gone, come off dark icon. It is insane at night time. You don't know where you are. You don't know what's coming up. Even if you know the ride off hour like I do, you don't know what's about to happen because you can't actually see it. And because you can't see it, you don't know what's gonna happen. The launch isn't timed. You don't have the build up. Fantastic. As you saw in that quick snippet, a special audio in, uh, made for the event in, um, in the station. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. So much better than having, uh, of course, um, Infusion and the big one from last year. Much, much better edition. And I'm really excited uh, to see where this event goes because so far, everything has been really good. And there's minor improvements, except for Twisted Tunnels. That is dramatically better and really, really good. Now I'm gonna go into the scare zone. Brand new, this is the first time we've seen a scare zone since it turned into a free uh, free floating event so let's go and have a look at carnival so walking down to carnival we can see there's an entrance archway there's an entrance archway to the event all the festoon lighting now this is meant to be a dia del muertos so day of the dead and let's see but just off the entrance here absolutely fantastic the carnival or carnival also carn evil uh, with the sign here all the bunting that enter what's it say enter the valley of fear freak show featuring the lost wow So let's walk through the scare zone. Look at all the festoons. It's beautiful. It's actually, it's so bright. It's cut. It's actually lighting up uh, Avalon. This is amazing. This is just fun. This is Day of the Dead. It's not scary, it's fun, it's joyful. Wow. This is amazing. It's just a party atmosphere. You've got them trying to get you to dance. I feel like something sinister may occur. There's smoke effects coming out from, uh, from Revolution. You've got the skulls, you've got the mariachi music. They're wanting you to dance and sing and enjoy. This is amazing. This brings in Day of the Dead. Wow, but now the confusing part. So as I said in the day vlog, the, the dodgem the part of the event. I don't know about this, basically, it's got the music from the zone uh, and lighting. I don't, I don't know about it. That's a bit odd. I'm not gonna lie, that is a very, very odd addition. Uh, Dodgem, Dodgem's a great fun. It's an intriguing addition. But what a zone, this is amazing. The music is blaring, they've got this amazing lighting on Revolution. This is brilliant. Oh, sinister. As I said, there's something sinister down there. 
So, we're all party atmosphere, but you can't have a party and scare, can you? I don't know. Because we're party, we're partying, we're enjoying. Look, everyone's dancing and singing. They're all enjoying. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, what's it got? Mother chainsaw, wow! Chainsaw? <laughs> oh, it's like a chainsaw. You can't come to a Halloween without a chainsaw. This is great. Will the chainsaw... Will we have a chainsaw? This is brilliant, really, really good. All party vibes. And then the sinister. got the laughing man all gold up. Look at this down here, the lighting just coming down. Look at this, this is amazing. The music, all party. This is fantastic. sinister down here. What happened to the party? Oh no! Oh. This is really good. It's amazing how just a tiny bit of audio, some lighting can just change the feeling of a whole area. This is amazing. All it is, is this lighting here, some smoke, audio and the actors hardly anything and it just creates this amazing atmosphere. This is insane. Wow. This is really, really cool. But that building over there is calling me. It's time to do the loft. Let's see what it's like in comparison to last year. So of course during the day this is the photo screen for Nickelodeon Land but if you know your history of Pleasure Beach this used to be housed uh, home to two iterations of one ride Space Invader and Space Invader 2 and it's still empty up there and at this event it's turned into the lost so we're going through the interactive green screen which is so weird and we're going into the old ride area for the lost Let's see if it's any different to last year. Well, here we go. Into the lot. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. I would have lived this position. <laughs> So, the Lost, the weakest in the event, it really is minor, minor changes from last year and last year it was the best because all the others were a bit meh. This year it's not on the same level as uh, all the new ones and uh, all the others, it's not been refreshed enough. It is now the weakest in the event. 
uh, it's still the same storyline everything still happens the same and it's still got the issue that it's loads of black walls not much audio and the issue is you've got high ceilings if they just put a ceiling and enclosed it it would be a lot better but it's still good for a second year it's got a few improvements acting phenomenal but in comparison to all the other ones so far it's the weakest um not to put it down on the event itself so far is fantastic and i'll give it a bit more of an in-depth um review of course at the end as i said now it's back up to the entrance plaza to be fair i've done this nearly in two hours uh, it's a three hour event but now it's back up to fy4 for the final maze of the evening which is of course impossible freak house see you up by impossible so of course the walk back up to fy4 includes going through the scare zone again this scare zone is absolutely phenomenal and it'll be great to see it expand uh, in the future and maybe have a few more because this is really really good it's a nice little addition and i think having the day of the dead it but it lures you into a false sense of security and it's a, a great replacement uh, for of course the pleasure beach express which was doing that last year which was very weak this is a great replacement don't know about the dodgems though i think they could probably go so the final maze of the evening impossible freak house i'll give a bit of a sum up of the whole evening after this this was one of my favorites last year um so i can't wait to see what it's like this year and uh, can it trump uh, twisted tunnels which is at the moment my favorite uh, maze here on the uh, park in this event i'll see you after freak house so i've just come out of impossible freak house exactly the same as last year this time i got picked on twice uh, which is really nice didn't get picked on last year got picked on twice uh, i can't repeat anything that was said because of course yeah youtube but it's, it's re it is really really good if you're scared of clowns that one will be scary for you um it's brilliant absolutely brilliant um but yeah that is journey to hell free night we are now an hour away so two hours it took me to complete the event yeah but really really good event really good event um now i've finished all of them i can give our overall opinion and uh, spoiler free and then i'll do a spoilers afterwards overall opinion 10 times better than it has previously it is by far the strongest it has been there are room for there is room for improvement in everything but overall absolutely spectacular and if if pleasure beach continue the route they are going this event will be spectacular and i can't wait to see uh, how it is from now um so far sadly the loss is now the weakest uh, it was one of the strongest last year it's now the weakest the bar has been set really high by twisted tunnels that was spectacular it was double the length as it was before just can't get better than that that was spectacular the introduction of icon back into the event in the dark that is amazing ghost train so much better and i'll give you a bit more info about all of them afterwards but my overall review the event is spectacular it is getting better and better and better there will always be hate for the event it is a newcomer it won't be the same level as uh, Scarefest in that the, the the funding is less in this park they aren't a big corporation but even with that these are amazing and i can't wait to see uh, what happens in the future with this event but now onto the spoilers so be careful spoilers coming so let's start with the first one shall we the ghost train so pretty similar to last time but so many more actors uh, we do meet the lady in white we don't meet Proggy like we thought we would um, there is a painting a digital painting of uh, 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 
it's it's the funniest. Uh, they've introduced some new uh, digital paintings. Andy Highgate is one. You know the lady who scares you. Andy Highgate has one of himself now, which is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Seeing Andy, and that's in the skeleton scene where Cloggy is. Um, Ghost Train, absolutely phenomenal. So many um, actors in there. There are five, I think I counted, that jumped out, and there were a few who didn't jump out at me. So many more actors than the two we had last year. Really, really good. It also had its own audio track. Um, so the the graveyard scene actually had um, what looked like uh, nuns, uh, not nuns, um, monks, and there was a monk chant in the background. That was really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really good to go to train. Then, of course, uh, went into uh, the river caves. River caves, a bit more bit better than it was it doesn't have the one scare that last year had where the door slams open and there's a person there in the Egyptian scene that's a bit of a shame because uh, that was a really good scare but uh, a lot stronger it's not just silent there's actually audio for each of the scenes that was specially made for the event we then go on to twisted tunnels by far the best um, the storyline is you are you're basically going through history uh, you then meet uh, the Ripper uh, halfway through um, and the theming in there is phenomenal. You go into, of course, the inn, um, like last time. Instead of being chased out by a bunny, uh, you aren't chased out at all, really. Uh, Frankenstein's monster is basically there chasing you out. It doesn't really chase you out uh, because there's no corridor to chase you out at anymore. Um, there is no corridor. It goes right up. It is ten times longer than it used to be. It's phenomenal uh, and by far the best. Um, dark Icon, just Icon in the Dark, but it's absolutely phenomenal and by far one of uh, the best rides that I've seen included in the event. The Scare Zone is phenomenal and I can't wait to see how they add on to Scare Zones in the future. Brilliant addition, having that Dia del Muertos theme as you saw love it absolutely love it the lost exactly the same as last year no improvements which means it's the weakest which is a bit of a shame uh, but that uh, and freak house same as last year the actors are phenomenal uh, you can't get better than it was last year and freak house is fantastic but that is the event thank you for watching there's not much more to say there are of course there's music fy4 is still booming it is open till late uh, the atmosphere this time with the audio, the special audio for each attraction has its own soundtrack now. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, if this is the state of Journey Tale Freak Nights after, uh, what, four years? Uh, we're in the second year of this free flow. If this is what it's like on a second year of free flow, I can't wait to see what it'll be like when it's finished. But that is my opinion. Everyone has their own opinion. My opinion is, it is great. Come down, come to Journey to Hell. It's on till the 31st of October, and I highly recommend you see it and you come and experience these attractions for yourself. But that's enough from me. I'm sure you've had enough of me talking at you, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, your evening, and remember, stay scary. <laughs>